Look, the whole topic of non-discrimination is absolutely fundamental in the ILO since the beginning, since the foundation in 1919. We have many conventions, including one of the core uh, labor uh, rights is about non-discrimination in employment and occupation. Uh, we also work on non-discrimination of women, of indigenous people, and of course people with disabilities. We have been very engaged, as, as you know, uh, in the process of uh, preparation of the convention, the new convention of the UN uh, of Persons with Disabilities. We have uh, a number of projects on this. Uh, we have an office-wide policy. We work on this issue, making sure that it is considered in every national employment policy uh, in which we support uh, national governments to, uh, to draft. And we have a very good initiative, very interesting initiative that he's pe picked up very well with uh, almost 40 multinational companies, uh, very strong multinationals, and it is growing the number, where they have been sharing their own practices on what they are doing to open opportunities for uh, disabled persons to join them in their own labor forces and sharing this with others and we're turning this into guides and principles so that it has a major impact in many countries. There are a number of pilot countries uh, and, and general principles to make a difference uh, and this is led by the private sector but supported by the international labor organization. So uh, it's a very strong work on this and we'll be happy to collaborate more with the bank on this issue.